Ah, right, people, welcome back to another video. Alright, guys, so I got a video to show you guys about Call of Duty. So I know some people have been commenting saying they're having a lot of issues with this game. It launching and while it, while you're playing, it's crashing, and you some people can't even get into the game. All right. So with this video, I'm gonna see if I can help you guys out to help you to get the game up and running. But um, if this doesn't work, then most likely you just gotta wait for a new driver update for the game to work properly, right? So let me get into it, see if I got see if I can help you guys out and show you what's going on, right? So the first thing I want you to do when you open up Steam. I don't use Battlenet, so I'm not sure about Battlenet. But when you open up Steam, you gotta go in here. Once you go in here, the first thing I want you guys to do, go to the game. You could right click if you're using the mouse. If not, using your fingers, you open up the game right here. Then you go to settings, click on this. You go to properties. When you get in here, you wanna go to install files. And here, the first thing I want you to do, if you did this already, let's do it one more time and see if it works. If not, then I'll show you what's going on with all the steps. So you're able to hit this verify integrity of the files it's going to do some downloads if there is a file that's missing that's making the game having any type of issues this will verify and install our file for you if this doesn't work then i'll show you another step so let it do its thing you could try the game after this is done if you're still having crashes back to the video and then watch my second step all right so the next step is if this don't work for you once you do the validating thing doesn't work same place you press from browse it's gonna open up the folder where the game is installed, right? When you get in here, these are all the game files. You're gonna have to copy all these right here. But before you do that, if you look up top right here, you see program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Call of Duty, HQ, right? You will click on common and you'll see the HQ folder right here. So now you wanna create a new folder in this section, right? So you right click, when you right click, you see new, then you create a new folder. So you can name it whatever, let's say Call of Duty HQ 718. So it's there. So now you go back to the HQ folder, the one that's original there before with the files. Go in here. You want to select all of them. Make sure all of them are selected like that. You want to right click. When you right click, you want to cut. You go back go back into the folder you created which is called you call of duty hq 718 open that when you get in here you want to paste so you right click again and you paste so let it do its thing it's going to transfer all the files to this folder that you just created all right so when that's done i want to go back one more time so now if you go into the original folder i was there before it should be empty right so you go back and you want to delete this folder. Delete. When that's done, you want to minimize that. Go back to Steam. You close that. Go to the game. And you want to go to settings, manage. Then you want to come down here and you want to uninstall. Uninstall. All right, so what you just uninstalled, but remember you move all the files from the folder. So you basically did not uninstall anything for this game, right? So now when you do that, you want to click install. So once you hit here and you're trying to install again, you want to make sure you install on the same drive where you move all the files over to, right? So if you have it on a different drive, you want to make sure you stay on the same drive, right? We don't, I only have one drive in mind, but if you have an SD card or anything plugged in, you want to make sure you're on the same exact drive, guys, right? So you press install. Gonna let it do its thing for a little bit. Make it reserve space. Alright, so now when it start downloaded, you want to press pause. Then you go settings again. Manage. Then you uninstall one more time. Right. So now when you close this, if you go back into files, where you, all your folders are at, if you go back to common, if you go back to common, you should see a new Call of Duty HQ folder, right? If you click on it, it's going to be empty. Correct? If it's not empty, that means you let it download for too long. So now when you go back again, you want to go back into the folder 
where you moved all your files over to. If you go in here, open here, you want to select everything again one more time. You want to cut. You want to go back. You want to go back to the Call of Duty HQ folder that the game created when you, in, when you was trying to install it. Go in here. Then you want to paste it. All the stuff you just copied or cut. So what that just did, you're transferring everything, redownloading everything. So this should fix any type of error message that you have in your files, right? So now you want to go back one more again. And the one, the file that you created, the folder that you created, guys, you want to make sure you delete this. Make sure, do not forget, make sure you delete this folder. So you right click, so you right click, you press delete, All right? Just go back in and just check one more time. Everything is fine. That's in there. Minimize that real quick. Go back to Steam. So now when you get to Steam, you're going to hit install. You want to select the same drive that you moved the files over to again. And you press install. So now it should stay validating. Right? It should say validating instead of installing. So it's going to validate the files and, and, should, and it should fix any curve file that's on your system or in the files. All right, also one thing I think is also a corporate of your game crashing and not launching is might be space, right? You wanna make sure you disable space on boot up so that when you turn on the device, space doesn't boot up. And you wanna make sure you get all your settings, put them in, make sure you got all your settings, your screen settings, your TDP, frame monitoring, everything on before you go into the game so you don't have to open up the quick menu. Cause I'm noticing the quick menu triggers the crash sometimes. So do not open your quick menu while you're in the game and do not open space. All right, so when this is done, validating and installing, it should have installed any files that you needed or fix any corrupt files on your system that's making the game crash. But as I said before, make sure you disable space. Does, don't let it boot up and do not open your quick menu. Make sure you get everything up and running, all your quick menu settings and everything before you launch the game. Right, so the next thing I want you guys to do, minimize that, you go to search bar, you type in command prompt, mine is already here. So you wanna right click, you wanna run as admin. Hey, yes. So in here, I want you to type SFC, S, FC, space, forward slash, scan now. Enter, so I'm saying this might take some time, so what this is doing guys is doing a scan of your whole system to see if there's any other corrupt files in your system. So let us do this thing. It might take a little bit, but let it go through the process and then we'll see what's up with that. So start running your game after and then this should fix it. If it don't, if it don't fix it, then we might have to just wait until there's a, another driver update or there's another space update. All right, so as you can see right here, it says restore protection and find corrupt files and successfully repair them. So this should have repaired any files that's corrupted in your system. And that will be a part of any games that you have and anything that you have in your device. So this should help with your, your game launching issues. And it might give you some performance back, like your FPS and stuff like that. So you might see a little bit of bump in your FPS because you just cleaned up your system and put everything how it was when you just got the game and clean up your system, right? So as I said before, guys, make sure you do not open space. You do not open your quick menu while you're in the game and you should be good. If this doesn't work, then we just gotta wait until there's next update for the system, maybe for space or a driver, and then we should be good after that. All right, so this is my settings right here. I got upscaling off, cause I'm gonna try and use loss of scaling. Cause someone wanted me to use it to see how it performs in this game. So let me turn on lossless scaling. Upscale. Back to the game. Gotta change the the display. 
Change it to full screen borderless. Apply. Confirm. Now I lost the skill and should be working top right. You can see it up there, top right. Go on the game real quick. I'm on 800p. I didn't cap the FPS. 23 watts. Let's see what's up. I'm not going to play for long, guys. It's going to show you that it's working fine so far. As I said before, if it still crashes, just got to wait for that update. Lost the scaling, 144 PS. And it's been a while since I played this game, so. So yeah guys, that's basically it. Kind of still in. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Still going, no crashes yet. And if you're gonna do this, guys, make sure you do not run with FSR3 if you're using loss with scaling. Either or, use loss with scaling or FSR3. He was talking about input lag. I'm not seeing no input lag, to be honest. Camera is overheating, so I'm gonna I gotta end this gameplay in a minute. So guys, that's it. That's basically it. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button for like what I'm posting.
What's up to the channel for more awesome content guys, and what I always say, health is wealth, peace and love, I'm out guys. See, ended the game, and no crashes.